Welcome to RenewEnergy.com, your renewable energy and sustainability platform. At RenewEnergy.com, we believe in the power of clean, sustainable energy to transform the way we live and work. That's why we offer a range of solutions for businesses and homeowners looking to switch to renewable energy sources such as solar, wind, and water. Welcome back to the RenewEnergy.com YouTube channel, where innovation in renewable energy is our passion. Get ready for an episode that could be a game changer in how we approach clean energy. Picture this, hydrogen, the universe's most abundant element, stored and moved as effortlessly as traditional liquid fuels. Say goodbye to the complexities of high-pressure tanks and cryogenic freezers. In this episode, we're diving into a breakthrough that's making this dream a reality, liquid organic hydrogen carriers, better known as low HCs. Far from just being scientific jargon, these are specialized liquids designed to safely and efficiently trap hydrogen. They're unlocking new possibilities and harnessing hydrogen's full energy potential. Stick around, and by the end of this episode, you'll see why low HCs are emerging as the transformative solution we've been waiting for in renewable energy. The challenge of hydrogen storage. Let's get into one of the most significant roadblocks in the widespread adoption of hydrogen as a clean energy source, storage. Now, hydrogen may be abundant and packed with energy, but it's also incredibly challenging to store in its natural gaseous form. High pressure. Firstly, there's the issue of high pressure. Storing hydrogen gas often involves compressing it to extreme pressures, sometimes exceeding 700 bar or 10,000 pounds per square inch. While this does allow us to store a considerable amount of hydrogen, the energy and costs involved in maintaining these high pressure systems are far from trivial. Low temperature. Then there's the low temperature option. Liquid hydrogen, another common storage form, requires chilling it down to cryogenic temperatures, around minus 253 degrees Celsius or minus 423 degrees Fahrenheit. This method is energy intensive, and maintaining these low temperatures over time is both complicated and costly. Safety concerns. But it's not just about the pressure or temperature, there's also the matter of safety. Hydrogen is flammable and can be explosive under certain conditions. Both high pressure and low temperature storage methods come with their own set of safety hazards, like leaks or even explosions, that need to be meticulously managed. What are low HCs? Now that we've talked about the challenges of traditional hydrogen storage, let's shift gears and discuss the game-changing technology of liquid organic hydrogen carriers, or low HCs. The chemistry behind low HCs. At its core, low HC technology revolves around organic compounds that can chemically bond with hydrogen. Picture these compounds as molecular sponges that soak up hydrogen gas. In scientific terms, these are usually aromatic or aliphatic compounds capable of undergoing reversible hydrogenation and dehydrogenation reactions. What this means is that they can grab onto hydrogen atoms and hold them in a stable form until they're needed. How low HCs work? The process is generally a two-step cycle. 1. Hydrogenation the low HC compound is exposed to hydrogen gas under specific conditions, allowing it to bond with the hydrogen and create a stable, liquid form. 2. Dehydrogenation. When it's time to use the stored hydrogen, the low HC compound is exposed to different conditions, often involving a catalyst and heat, to release the hydrogen gas for use. Advantages of low HCs. Low HC solve many of the storage issues we discussed earlier. 1. Safety. Storing hydrogen in a liquid organic carrier reduces the risk of leaks and explosions significantly. 2. Transportability. Low HCs are liquid at room temperature, making it easier to transport them using existing liquid fuel infrastructure. 3. Energy density. Because they can hold a significant amount of hydrogen, low HCs offer high energy density, meaning more energy can be stored in less space. Advantages of low HCs. After diving deep into the fascinating world of low HCs, let's break down why they're seen as a breakthrough in hydrogen storage and transport. The advantages of low HCs are manifold, but we'll focus on three main points, safety, transport, and high energy density. Safety, ambient temperature and pressure storage. The most glaring advantage that sets low HCs apart is safety. Unlike compressed hydrogen, which requires storage under high pressure, or liquid hydrogen, which necessitates cryogenic temperatures, low HCs can store hydrogen safely at ambient temperature and pressure. This means no specialized, expensive, and potentially hazardous storage equipment is necessary, making low HCs a much safer alternative. Transport, using existing infrastructure. When it comes to transportation, low HCs are a logistical dream come true. 
Because they are stable liquids at room temperature, low HCs can be moved using existing fuel transport infrastructure. Think about it, trucks, pipelines, and even ships that are currently used to transport fossil fuels could easily be repurposed to move low HCs, drastically reducing the cost and complexity of building a hydrogen economy from scratch. High energy density, store more energy in less space. Last but not least, let's talk about energy density. Low HCs can hold a considerable amount of hydrogen in a relatively small volume, providing high energy density. This is especially crucial for applications where space is at a premium, such as in vehicles or compact energy storage solutions. Being able to store more energy in less space is not just efficient, it's revolutionary. So there you have it, the top advantages of low HCs that make them a frontrunner in solving the challenges that have long plagued the hydrogen industry. This technology is not just an incremental improvement, it's a paradigm shift, making hydrogen a more viable and practical energy carrier than ever before. Disadvantages and Challenges of Low HCs While low HCs have some groundbreaking advantages, it's crucial to also examine the other side of the coin. Like any emerging technology, low HCs are not without their challenges. Let's discuss some of the key downsides, cost, efficiency loss, and catalyst requirements. Cost First on the list is the financial aspect. The initial setup for low HC systems can be quite expensive. The specialized organic compounds themselves can be costly, and the reactors needed for hydrogenation and dehydrogenation are not cheap either. This can make low HCs less competitive compared to other hydrogen storage methods in the short term. Efficiency loss. Another drawback lies in the efficiency of the storage process. The hydrogenation and dehydrogenation cycles require energy inputs, which lead to some energy loss. While this is a hurdle in all forms of energy storage, the efficiency metrics for low HC systems still need improvement to make them as viable as other long-term storage solutions. Catalyst requirements. Lastly, let's talk about catalysts. Many low HC systems require specific catalysts to facilitate the hydrogenation and dehydrogenation processes. These catalysts can be expensive and are often sensitive to impurities, which can limit the system's overall efficiency and long-term stability. So while low HCs offer a revolutionary approach to hydrogen storage and transport, it's important to remember that the technology is still maturing. Overcoming these challenges will be critical to realizing the full potential of low HCs in a future hydrogen economy. Applications for low HCs Low HC technology isn't just exciting on paper, it has real-world applications that could revolutionize several sectors. In this segment, we'll explore how low HCs can be game-changers in grid-scale storage, the transport sector, and industrial use. Grid-scale storage As we transition towards a future powered by renewable energy sources like wind and solar, the need for reliable, large-scale energy storage becomes increasingly crucial. This is where low HCs shine. Their ability to store a large amount of energy safely and efficiently makes them ideal candidates for grid-scale storage. Imagine capturing excess electricity generated during peak solar or wind periods, converting it to hydrogen, and then storing it safely and efficiently in low HCs for later use. This could smooth out energy supply, making renewables far more reliable. Transport Sector The transport sector is another area poised for disruption by low HC technology. Currently, Hydrogen-powered vehicles require specialized high-pressure refueling stations, which are expensive and challenging to deploy. Low HCs could sidestep this entirely. Hydrogen could be extracted from low HCs at regular refueling stations, making hydrogen-fueled cars far more practical and potentially accelerating the shift away from fossil fuels in transportation. Industrial use. Finally, let's talk about industrial applications. Industries like chemical manufacturing and metallurgy often require hydrogen as a feedstock. The safe, efficient storage and transport capabilities offered by low HCs could simplify logistics and make these processes greener. Low HCs could be easily transported to industrial sites, where the hydrogen could be extracted and used in various processes, reducing both costs and environmental impact. So there you have it, from stabilizing renewable energy grids to transforming transportation and industrial processes, low HCs are poised to be an integral part of a cleaner, more efficient future. Why low HCs are perfect for green hydrogen? Green hydrogen, produced using renewable energy sources, is a pivotal element in our journey toward a sustainable future. Yet, its storage and transport pose significant challenges. That's where liquid organic hydrogen carriers, low HCs, come into play. How exactly can low HCs revolutionize our green hydrogen projects, amplifying their efficiency and scalability? Let's dig into it. 
upping the ante for renewable energy storage. One of the main obstacles in green hydrogen production is efficient and safe storage. Low HCs, with their remarkable ability to stabilize hydrogen at ambient temperature and pressure, can act as an energy sponge. They can soak up excess green hydrogen produced when renewable energy output is high. This creates a more robust and reliable system that allows green hydrogen to be accessible when renewable resources are scarce, thereby stabilizing the grid. A catalyst for sustainable transport. Green hydrogen holds immense promise for decarbonizing the transport sector, but the logistics have been a sticking point. Low HCs can change that. Due to their compatibility with existing fuel distribution systems, low HCs pave the way for a broader, more user-friendly green hydrogen refueling network. This can lead to a quicker adoption rate of hydrogen-powered vehicles, providing a tangible boost to sustainable transport initiatives. Seamless integration into industrial processes. Green hydrogen is not only a fuel but also a crucial feedstock for various industries. Low HCs can make the delivery and usage of green hydrogen in industrial settings much simpler and safer. This technology offers an efficient storage medium that can be easily transported to and used at industrial sites, eliminating several logistical hurdles and accelerating the industry's transition to sustainable practices. Design for Scalability One of the most attractive features of low HCs is their inherent scalability. As projects grow in size and complexity, low HC technology can effortlessly scale to meet those demands. This makes low HCs a perfect fit for green hydrogen initiatives that are ambitious in scope, ensuring that the storage solutions will not become a bottleneck as projects expand. In a nutshell, low HCs offer a practical and scalable solution that can be a game changer for green hydrogen. By overcoming key challenges in storage and transport, low HCs could be the linchpin that takes green hydrogen from a promising concept to a widely implemented reality. In sum, Liquid organic hydrogen carriers or low HCs are nothing short of revolutionary. They offer elegant solutions to some of the most daunting challenges we face in the realms of green hydrogen and renewable energy storage. From enhancing grid stability to facilitating sustainable transport and streamlining industrial applications, low HCs are versatile and game-changing. Their safety, compatibility with existing infrastructure, and scalability make them indispensable tools as we strive for a more sustainable and efficient energy future. If you're as captivated by the potential of low HCs as we are, then we have good news for you. There's so much more to explore and implement. We invite you to be a part of this exciting technological frontier. Visit our website at renenergy.com for in-depth articles, project updates, and opportunities to get involved in low HC-based initiatives. Don't miss out on the chance to be a part of the solution. Together, we can make renewable energy not just an alternative, but the standard. Thank you for choosing RenewEnergy.com as your go-to source for all things renewable energy and sustainability. With our YouTube channel, we explore the latest developments and innovations in the field, including hydrogen fuel cells and the use of AI and machine learning to optimize energy consumption. If you're ready to take the next step towards a cleaner, more sustainable future, visit us at RenewEnergy.com and discover the many ways we can help you transition to renewable energy. Thank you for watching and subscribing. Stay up to date on all the latest news and insights by subscribing today.